Hello everybody, it's Magic Koopa Mark, and welcome, welcome to what I like to call the good part of the game. Oh yes, how I have waited for this. How I have waited for these moments. These moments of glory. For now, we start on my, my more favorite part of the game, as I've, as I've probably stated more times than needed. But now we're going to go get our assignment, which will surely be a dungeon of extraordinary proportions. Yeah. Okay, I guess that was, an, that was a boring cutscene, actually. Oh well. And this is basically where we're going to be going back to to get all our missions and whatnot. Well, hello there. Hmm, I haven't seen you around. Kino, that's that's a really dumb name actually. Could you guys be the adventurers from Hanam Town? That and it's weird that we do we automatically know his name instead of him, you know, kind of I'm telling us his name. Like usually it would appear here where his name would be, you know, it'd be question marks and then here it would turn into Kino the researcher, but whatever. If you want anything appraised, just bring it to me and just for you, I'll do it for free. Ooh, just for me. I get special discount. In return, I want you to make sure you don't throw away anything you find. Well, why would I throw it away Some if you're gonna appraise it? Some be quite valuable, so you never know. All right. Yes. Welcome to the Society Museum. What can I do for you? I'm very fond of the red tips. I'd like quite to see festive. a man named Whitehead. Whitehead. Oh, I can't get over that name. It's so strange. Whitehead. We've been waiting for you. Whatever. All right. They didn't really need to talk to them, but I, I just decided to get them out of the way. Their voice acting is quite eh, interesting, to say the least. So, let's just head straight up to the second floor and uh, see what we can find here. There's, what's her name, Nina? Uh -oh. And Mr. Whitehead. Well, what do you know? He actually does have a rather white head. That's right. Mag Launcher, the number one adventurer in Pan Am Town. That is he. And I like the only adventure in Pan Am Town, you know, besides Chain. She kind of sucks. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it's Pepper's there. Yeah. His adventuring skills are first rate, but his debts are also first rate. He's first rate in everything. Yay. Hmm. I'm not quite sure if I'm being praised or belittled. Yeah, same here, Meg. Anyway. I'm sure he'll perform up to your expectations, Mr. President. But still, I don't quite know what kind of assignments he was called for. Hmm. Neither do I. Mag launcher. Let's... Let's I find see. out. He must be I was gonna say let's play, but I realized that was a horrible pun. Actually, is that even a pun? I don't... I don't know. My name is Professor Whitehead. President of the Society. In plain words, I represent the society in research of prehistoric civilizations. You know, actually, I don't think this guy what ever opens me? his eyes over the course of the game. So if you're waiting for that, uh, stop waiting. Up until now, you have discovered very I just thought about that for whatever reason. If you're like me, you're not paying attention to anything he's saying. The story in this game is quite lackluster. I don't know why I love it. Yada, yada, yada. Blah, 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 blah. That Carcano stole those important. Ah, oh, 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 well. It cannot be helped. He is Carcano after all. But I shall not. Oh, you know, th thieves will be thieves. Oh, who cares? I will catch him by foot right. or by hook. Ah, eh, <clears throat> well, uh, let me get. Jeez, oh, don't die on me. Yes. <clears throat> what I will tell you is top. Secret. The society is now proceeding with a major project. I cannot tell you the details, but we are searching for some secret items that will garner us a prehistoric legacy. Secret legacy items? Say. Yes, the appraisal item stolen by Carcano was one of those items. But how they managed to sneak it out? Anyway. As the number one adventurer of Panam Town, I am asking you for help. Naturally, we shall compensate you handsomely for your efforts. All right. Just leave it to me. A search for secret items, huh? So, so that, that's all you're like going to tell adventure. me? Just just look for secret items? Hmm. You sound quite promising. Well then, I shall first assign you to search in Blade Ruins. 
good thing it has to do with fire. Blaze ruins? Yes. After leaving the Society Museum, go straight down that street and you will come to the entrance of the city. Leave the city and head toward the northwest and you will see the ruins. You can ask the reception and he's talking about that world map location that I showed you before and I believe the part before this. I, it might be the part before this or two parts before this. I'm not too sure right now. But talking about that place. Ooh, money. Not a lot of money. Oh, I can move. <laughs> Oops. Well then, good luck. Give it your best, Mag. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong, Mag? I just if wanted to want talk to you. Details, please talk to Lisa downstairs. Okay, geez, what if I just wanted to say hi? Nothing's wrong. Okay. So, oh, you know, in the store. I think you know the store before. It's the society office. Oh, Lisa's upstairs, you fucking liar. Can I help you? Uh, that's what dawdling is? I'm a little busy right now. If you don't have any business here, then why don't you leave? Wow, what an oh, asshole. really? He doesn't really look so busy. I'm so bored. Oh, no. Okay. Did you hear me? Oh no, he heard I was bored. Oh boy, I'm so busy. I can't believe my boss. We're so busy, but he doesn't even lift a finger to help. Huh? You say we don't look busy? I'm okay. telling you, even if I may not look it, my brain is zipping along at full speed. So I'm pretty sure that's Pepper's voice actor. And that's definitely Lisa's model, so what the hell is going on here? Um, whatever. I guess all secretaries have to have a stereotypically sexy voice. Uh, I'm not necessarily complaining here, so. Moving on. Uh, we don't have any questions, but I guess we'll check out this section of the museum society thing. I hate that camera angle. Anyways. Welcome. This exhibit showcases tools of various ages, from the prehistoric to the modern. I am here to answer any questions you might have. Okay. Uh, what will we ask her? Ooh, about you. <laughs> You've got to stop joking around like that. How I'm old is that? I'm still working right now. We can't have such a personal talk. Okay. Is yeah, I don't there have one. Anything else? I just said I don't have one. Well yeah. Then. Okay, so I guess I'll just, uh... Oh man, do I really have to read all of this? This is like a lot of... A lot of work. Oh man. I'll just zip through it really fast. You guys can read it yourselves. I'm not a... I'm not a strong reader. Is this, is this, oh, I just read the sign. Okay, I thought I was reading the the actual picture. I'm pretty sure you can't read it. Oh. Okay. So this is like the past. Yeah. Good philosophy, Meg. You should run for president. President, president. The pronunciation is top notch. Yeah, I suppose. Well, yeah, actually, he wouldn't, cause he like took out twenty tanks, didn't he? So he got shot in the face. Bam. Oh, that's the thing that we saw in that cutscene. Yeah. I can't look up at it because this camera sucks ass. But, uh, take my word for it.
okay? Like we already saw this guy, but these guys are another enemy type that we'll be seeing later. Yeah, so lifelike. And they jump out and battle them. That'd be awesome. You, you could just read this and find out. And you are from this time, so you probably should know what it is. Well, then again, Mag is kind of an idiot. Yeah, definitely an idiot. I wonder if they have schools at this time. I don't know. Who seems young enough to be in school, actually? Sorry if I'm going too fast, but you can pause if you really want to read it. I'm just going through all this just, you know, because... Oh, damn, I went that last one kind of fast, actually. Maybe I should just go through it again. There we go. Okay. These are ciphering. Uh, I don't know. Why did they have such great technology in a civilized place? But, whatever. Okay, now we're finally done with the museum. We can actually get some gameplay done, why don't we? Seems like a good idea to me. So let's go. Oh, am I still going right now? I'm not. Okay, there we go. Um, now we have a little extra cash. I think we can... Oh, fuck. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck everything. I'm just gonna go. Because if I do it, I'm probably gonna cut it out, because it's gonna be really annoying and really boring. Alright, so there are the blazers, and we just go, and, you know, there's a world map, and it's very cool. Very stylish. Now, as I said before, and I said a couple of times, actually, um, I don't know if I've actually... I don't know if I've actually stated this before, but anyways, this game was split into two parts. Um, one part is the first evolution, the other part is the second evolution. And some parts of the first evolution had to be cut out. And I think Evolution 2, um, both games being for the Dreamcast, was stayed full intact, I believe. So, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to bring somebody else with me. But that's okay, because with these dungeons, uh, are, they're very different from the other dungeons. Instead of having random, randomly generated floors and whatnot, um, you, the floors are actually designed one way and you can go up and down them and it's actually like a real cleverly designed dungeon. And since it's like this, you can you simply exit throughout the entrance of the dungeon and, um, if you know where to go, then you'll have a relatively easy time, which is good because in the other dungeons, I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Now I probably won't be able to use... Well, probably won't be able to, Probably won't have to use, rather, any trap searches or... Any searches or whatever, because I'm quite experienced with this part of the game. But, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We've got a long... Long way to go before we realize how experienced I am, or I am not. And he's using his fantastic hide-and-shell attack, which I believe does nothing. No, it ups his defense, actually. Which is probably quite obvious, I'm kind of an idiot, but whatever. Whatever. So, as I'm going to demonstrate right now, you can run out of the dungeons if you're a little pussy like I am. Like so. Of course, there's no door here, it's kind of just a block, I don't know how we actually leave, but whatever. Screen goes dark, and I guess Mag teleports out. And now I get to go get a partner. And I'm definitely going to choose Gray, because Chain's a useless bitch. Rightfully so. Is there anything... Let's go. I may be getting on in years, but I can still be of service to you, young master. So anyways... Now that we've got Gray with us, we can actually go do some stuff. Um, let me actually check my equipment really quick here. Oh yeah, and as you've noticed, we haven't gotten any different parts for our Psyframes or anything. In the first game, um, you could only have, you know, Psyframe 
normal part one. In the second game, however, they fleshed out the cyframes a little bit, and you could get different cyframes for, you know, each of your characters. It's actually quite cool. I don't know why I'm checking all these, but I'm pretty sure I have nothing. Uh, I'll collect stuff in there. And I don't want to upgrade anything just yet, because as I said before, we'll be getting new cyframes, which I kind of want to work on them a bit more than my...